telling you, the Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Not this time. So, let me see what we're working with here. <laughs> Seems you had a bit of a reckless past. Always fancied yourself as a wild one, eh? We can work with that. I also see that you've mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande. And I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Are we really playing this game? The pirates, like the ones you tangled with on Vectera? Please stop pretending you have no idea what I'm talking about. No, no you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. First of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the Vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or, you can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? You aren't leaving until I have an answer. If I didn't think you had a chance, I would have left you in lockup. You're just going to have to follow your instincts and trust me. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. 
And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Got my attention, Captain. Captain. Commander's new mole, huh? Right. Later. Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Okay. Still, Hello. it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I could. But I wouldn't worry about it. And since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Conde's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Just shut up and do as you're told. All right, this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Excuse me. Hey. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. We are currently in the Sol system, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Let's get one thing straight right now. 
While you're working for me, I'm going to treat you like one of my own. Whatever crimes you committed in the past no longer matter. You're now an agent of Sistef, meaning that it's my job to keep you alive. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. At the same time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. We move quick around here. Better get used to it. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Then you better learn to swim, because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment, trust your instincts, and watch your back. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sistef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing, money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing, so I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance, and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, 
But remember why you're out there in the first place. As long as you can distinguish between surviving and thriving, you'll do just fine. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. As you were. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, since it isn't every day we stumble across a criminal's fully written confession, we need to build a case against our suspects. The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. Rationalize it however you like, but that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, You'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts. Commander Akande came up with the idea. He was concerned you might not help us simply because it was the right thing to do. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. <sighs> yeah, maybe. No, no, it, it's not really an appropriate time to be going over my private life. There are much more important things to be done. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But, uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC Security, so you shouldn't have any trouble, even if you're scanned. 
Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. We'll be here if you need us. Howdy. Yes? Yes? What? been gone forever. I'm all ears. Tired of me already? <laughs> well, we can cover more space separately this way. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Hmm. 
No, they're right. What they didn't tell you is that I have a self-preservation streak a kilometer wide. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. <laughs> you must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged, even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet, goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Don't be caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. Hey, All welcome to the Sidonia trade off. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud, you can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over! Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place.
I swear, that warning clacks and still startles me every time. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. Twenty years ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. Never thought I'd stay for as long as I have. Still doing things by hand, huh? I keep telling her she needs to act her age, not the stone one. But some people think being difficult builds character. Oh well. Let's see what she wrote. Oh no. I hope this doesn't mean... Me too. But Sawadi's letter scares me. If what she says is true, I can't stay here. I need to go see her. If she's really on death's door, then this could be my only chance. Thank you for bringing me this. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the upper level to the Sedonia Department of Public Works. Faith in the greatness and ingenuity of the human spirit. I used to think I was Vanguard material, until I discovered that space travel turns my stomach in knots. Something I can help you with? Hey, slow down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Adler, you said? Nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that, Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? <sighs> I'm a miner for Deimos. It's not what I was hoping for out of life. But here I am. Yeah, it's a lousy company. Pays me a salary, but I depend on the profit-sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. Hey, 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 now wait a second. Just because things are tough, and I might be spending my afternoons at the Spear, it doesn't mean I don't care about my family. Adler doesn't get to judge me. No, he's just a low-life pirate who thinks he can push Everyone around. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Sure, I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven day shift. I don't know. A 
Mm, uh, well, I might be able to cash in a few of my Deimos shares. Maybe so. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. It is illegal to transport... Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. Oh, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Join 
your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Rigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. I've been tracking Rake for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado, and I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You are asking me to betray my own crew.
I do not know who to believe. But you would not have come all this way if you were lying. <laughs> it's true. I do not know him that well. And some of what he says is suspicious. All right. All right, I will do it. I've got no love for the fleet. And if Rake was one of them, my loyalty is with him, N. But if I do this, you have to promise to spare the rest of the crew and leave the supplies for New Homestead. Is that all it takes for you to flip on me, Dimitri? Unbelievable. It is either you or all of us, Austin. I'm sorry. Cut the crap and just admit it. You're a coward. <laughs> you know, I almost bought it. All that crap about helping people and making a difference. But at the end of the day, you're no different from the fleet. When push comes to shove, you only care about yourself. Big push is eight. Oh, I am out of You brought that on yourself. He's dead. I... I do not know if I did the right thing. He was also one of my crew. So no, I do not know if anything you said is true. You can leave now. I think you will understand when I say, I hope I never see you again. Was Austin really a member of the fleet? But he seemed so...
for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Mercenaries. Guns for hire that shoot their own parents if they were paid enough. I'll tell you, we do a hell of a lot of dirty work in the Crimson Fleet. But we'd never sell away our souls like an ecliptic merc does. You know what? I have no idea and it's frustrating the hell out of me. I suppose I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but... There's been so many, I've lost count. Huh, no kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up, and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Yeah? Last person who said that was Rake. So you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Commander Ikande wants to see you. Follow me. I had a friend on the Ragana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. Pardon. Anything to report. We received word you boarded the Ragana. I don't care if Rake was with the fleet. The pilot and his crew were not. What you did was uncalled for. You coerced the pilot into taking a crew member's life. You had no choice but to comply. You cannot simply pass off the burden of the job whenever it suits you. Understood? Well said. Let's hope the next time your actions match the integrity of your words. Now I want to make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet, but there is an ethical line we cannot cross. Do something like this again, and you're out. Permanently. But for now, we will continue with the briefing. 
Were you at least able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. As distasteful as your methods were, at least you managed to complete the job. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. The woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? The Vigilance is equipped with one of the most advanced intelligence suites in the UC fleet. Nothing slips through. You can rest assured, if the Crimson Fleet had any access to our whereabouts or had infiltrated our security, we'd know. As long as you're here, your identity is safe. Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. The Commander's livid. Sure what you did. We don't have the full good. map of the fleet's roster. The members change too quickly. That's right. It's something we've requested a while ago, in preparation for a future conflict with the fleet. Once we finalize everything and run a few tests, we'll have the defenses needed for a jump to the Crick system when the time comes. Sure. We have a database of profiles you can read, which should help you ingratiate yourself with the group. However, the profiles are a guide, not gospel. Use what you can, fill in the blanks, and play off that. I imagine when you're done, you'll be able to generate far more accurate profiles than what we have in our system. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Interesting. Looks like he's been meeting up regularly with Neva Mora to transfer goods and cash from Sidonia. Which means the Crimson Fleet's just lost one of their drop points. <laughs> that should set them back a bit. That it? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. Good luck on the key. I haven't seen my family.
You're free. And you know how you lost that picture and it was complete. the comedy eating bunny. 